hello everyone and welcome back to my channel again dear friends hope you are all doing well so as your exams are postponed for the mathematics subject so i think it is the best opportunity for you people to practice the mathematics subject over there okay so there is a lot of time for the subject now as uh, as much as you practice uh, more it will become easy for you to pass the subject over there okay so today we will discuss uh, the model question paper second uh, question number fourth a for the mathematics subject probably stream right so model 2 i am discussing the revolution r and time t are related by quadratic polynomial r is equal to at square plus bt plus c estimate number revolution r for time t 3.5 units given uh, data is over here revolution time so given values are here so it is uh, totally the similar question uh, what we have discussed so far okay only the thing is here instead of y here is r instead of x here is t okay only this this difference is there so rest of the procedure will be same so see here let the curve to be fitted r is equal to at square plus bt plus c whatever is given okay so the normal equations will be accordingly for the curve r as uh, earlier we were discussing summation of y is equal to a summation of x square but in this case instead of y there is r instead of x there is t only the difference is here so summation of r these are the normal equations okay which will be available in your data handbook but in the form of y and x so instead of y here is r instead of x here is t like that okay these three formulas are there in the handbook now what we have to do we need to calculate this a value summation of t square value we need right summation of t square summation of r we need summation of r t summation of t square y okay these all values whatever we we are supposed to calculate it i have make the box over here okay so you need to write down the r t values which are given revolution and time value is given i have written over here okay now what i need to calculate summation of r t so i will just sum up uh, these terms whatever i will get here okay then i will get the summation of rt and summation of r means you have to sum up these terms you will get summation of r and summation of t we need uh, yes we need over here okay so once you just sum up you will get summation of t let's calculate the values first over here okay so 5 into 1.2 which is equal to 6 right then 1.6 into 10 that is 16 then 1.9 sorry 1.9 into 15 which is equal to 28.5 okay 2.1 into 20 which is equal to 42 okay 2.4 multiplied by 25 which is equal to 60 2.6 multiplied by 30 which is equal to 78 and 3 sorry 3 into 35 which is equal to 105 okay these are the values of rt okay then you have to do the summation which we do later on first of all we will calculate the squares of these numbers so 1.2 whole square which is equal to 1.44 okay now 1.6 whole square which is equal to 2.56 i hope these values you will calculate so i will directly write down the values now okay so i will directly write down the values now okay so here you will get 3.61 by multiply sorry by squaring this one okay 1.9 square 2.1 square you will get 4.41 then 2.4 whole square you will get 5.76 2.6 whole square you will get 6.76 and 3 square is obviously 9 so t square all t square r when you just multiply this t square with r okay 5 into 1.44 you will get 7.2 okay 25.6 this into this okay 3.61 into 15 okay you will get 54.15 likewise you have to calculate 88.2 and uh, 144 this is your 202.8 this is your 315 these are the values okay multiplication of t square with the r now t cube this you have to uh, cube this 1.2 cube that is you will get 1.728 okay 4.096 calculation part is yours you can do it otherwise it will take too much time on this video okay 9.261 13.824 13.825 this is what 27 okay now t raised power 4 means 1.2 raised power 4 you have to do so 2.0736 you will get 6.5536 
13.0321 and 19.4481 okay 33.1776 45.6976 and this one is 81 so now you have to sum up these terms all the terms so that you can put down these values in the uh, formula okay so you just add up these terms you will get summation of r is equal to 140 summation of t you will get when you just sum up these terms you will get 14.8 when you just sum up rt these values you will get a value approximately 33.54 and here you will get summation of t square as sorry this is your t square right sorry this value is summation of t square value is 33.54 and this value is your 335 335.5 right now summation of t square r you will get here summation of t square r is equal to 836.95 okay then summation of t cube summation of t cube you will get 80.344 then summation of t raised power 4 you will get 200.98 okay these are the values now you have to put down these values in the particular formulas okay so let me put down here now so summation of r so summation of r value is here 140 so 140 is equal to a times summation of t square summation of t square is here 33.54 so 33.54 times a plus b summation of t summation of t is 14.8 so 14.8 times b plus n n is the number of terms 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so 7 times c i can write okay then summation of rt so summation of rt is here 335.5 335.5 which is equal to a times summation of t cube so summation of t cube is here 80.34 80.34 okay plus this is b times summation of t square so summation of t square is here 33.54 okay plus c times summation of t so what is the summation of t 14.8 i hope you are following so then summation of t square y sorry this is t square instead of y here is r okay so t square r you have to write instead of uh, y here is r in the particular problem okay so as you can observe here so t square r means uh, t square r summation is 836.95 836.95 which is equal to a times summation of t raised power 4 it is here 200.98 okay plus b times summation of t cube summation of t cube is 80.344 right plus c times summation of t square summation of t square is here 33.54 now you have to solve these equations in the scientific calculator you will get a sorry a b c values over there okay so let me calculate it go to the menu alpha a simul equation is the option here so go through one option so how many unknowns a b c means three unknowns are there i can type three okay now put down the values accordingly coefficients of these constants so 33.54 is equal to 14.8 is equal to 7 is equal to this 140 okay now this is coefficient is 80.344 80.344 uh, plus sorry is equal to 33.54 is equal to 14.8 right is equal to 335.5 is equal to now next is 200.98 is equal to 80.344 okay is equal to 33.54 is equal to 836.95 which is equal to you will get the values over here x means a is equal to 0 0.66 okay next value is b b value as 14.76 okay then c value c value as minus 14.42 so these are the a b c values now put down these a b c value in the this particular first equation so i can write r is equal to a a value is 0 0.66 0 0.66 times t square plus b value is 14.76 times t okay b times t 
plus c value is minus sorry here you have to write minus 14.42 okay this is the given curve fitting for this particular problem now in the question it is mentioned that estimate number revolution r for the time t 3.5 units so you have to take t value as 3.5 units okay so t is equal to 3.5 therefore therefore r is equal to 0.66 multiplied by 3.5 whole square plus 14.76 multiplied by 3.5 okay minus 14.42 let me calculate this one so sorry you have to go through the mode to 0.66 multiplied by 3.5 whole square okay plus 14.76 multiplied by 3.5 minus 14.42 which is equal to 45.32 so r is equal to 45.325 therefore i can say that the number of revolutions r is equal to 45.325 revolutions for the time 3.5 units okay we have to take the t value as 3.5 so this is the overall solution for this particular problem i hope this is clear to you you people so make sure you will share this video to all your friends and make sure you will like this video thank you for watching my video